become a buzz phrase of late. The energy form has been touted as the alternative to hydroelectricity in the wake of climate change effects on power generation. Zimbabwe, which has been battling power shortages, is keen on massively investing in solar. But what if there is another alternative that may revolutionize the country's energy system? A United States-based Zimbabwean Sangulani Chikumbuto has set up a 50-kilowatt green generator in Harare where it is powering 10 houses. Thrive 2 brings viewers behind the scenes with the people and innovations that have the power to transform life for everyone. And what's interesting about this documentary is they feature United States-based Zimbabwean inventor Sangulani Maxwell Chikumbutu. We are launching a documentary on a Saturday in the United States of America in California, which is called Thrive, What It Takes. The documentary follows a journey across the globe investigating the most promising solutions in energy, health, and consciousness while unpicking the underlying science, principles, and strategies that make them possible. One of Chikumbuto's inventions is advancing the proven ability to generate electricity from radio frequency. With this, he designed and produced the world's first ever green power generator. I have to keep on fighting and make sure that one day everyone will have free energy. The gifted innovator also designed and built an electric-powered vehicle, hybrid helicopter and a drone among some of his groundbreaking innovations in the high-tech global entrepreneurial ecosystem. Recently, Chikumbuza developed a prototype automated disinfecting machine to help fight the coronavirus pandemic. But it is his green generator that will shift the way science is working and revolutionize the country's energy system. And tonight, he will be demonstrating his 50 kilowatt green generator in Harare, where it is powering 10 houses. The demonstration will be broadcast live around the world as part of this documentary, which will premiere in the United States on Saturday. Reporting for ZTN News, I'm Howard Musonza in Harare. Oh, well, welcome back. Taking it up now from the capital. Many thanks to Marilyn Gwenya there. In our science and technology feature, Zimbabwe made a breakthrough in the use of microsonic energy to generate electricity at a high scale. We unpack where we explore the microsonic energy device, the OR Green Generator, invented by Maxwell Chikumbut. So Theophilus Schumer unpacks this for us. It's an invention that has made headlines across the globe, attracting the attention of major scientific brains in the United States of America. The Green Generator, an invention designed and constructed by Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chikumbuzo, is the first of its kind using radio frequency to generate electricity at high scale. So we harness radio frequencies. These are natural radio frequencies that we harness. Then um, uh, we convert it through the components that are in the microsonic energy device, like I said before, 70% of the components inside this device are tailor-made. You cannot get them anywhere in the world. The current comes out as a DC current. Uh, it goes to the uh, down converter and the DC controller. Then uh, from there, the computer does the work. The microcontroller a fine adjusts and tells uh, the microsonic energy device what um, voltage has to go to the uh, inverter. Then on the inverter side, that is the component that we use, the part that we use to change the current to alternating current. This is the current that powers all the lights that is used uh, everywhere. So from the inverter, we have got the step-up transformer to say, which is an AVR. This is the bottom part. It's uh, air-cooled. Air Decades ago, one great scientist, Nikolai Tesla, attempted the same innovation, but faced hurdles. Maxwell has become the first person in living history to make a major breakthrough, and for his efforts, American firms are featuring his invention on a documentary that is celebrating this great mind. We believe that we didn't violate the second law of energy in thermodynamics, but we have managed to make a new discovery, new formulas of myths. How that law is still work, but what we have done, we have managed to refine through the machine. As you can see, as small as it is, we can power everything, but we are not damaging anything. 
The green generator may very well become the answer to power challenges facing not only Zimbabwe, but other nations across Africa and beyond. Maxwell is already planning to utilize his invention to benefit rural communities in Zimbabwe. We we'll give the blueprints for free. We we'll identify the communities, the people who can do so that we can just provide them with the skill and uh, they can design, they, they can construct their own machines and use. But we are looking at uh, those who are disadvantaged. Amazingly, Maxwell never trained formally in electronics or engineering. A brief trip into the future with inventor Maxwell Chikumbuzo. He's claiming a scientific breakthrough with this green energy technology, an electric car which he says converts radio frequencies into energy. At the powertrain, we did it in-house, uh, which makes it uh, the, fair, the first electric vehicle in the world that drives without needing recharging sy systems. On the greener power off-grid machine, it's very uh, unique for the first time uh, energy is being generated uh, using a radio frequency and without moving paths. Chikumbutso is not the typical scientist. He dropped out of school aged 14 and says he's developed his blueprints through research and visions from God. A showroom in Harare showcases his prototypes. A helicopter that operates using any one of the five fuels, including paraffin, a drone and a household transformer that he says can multiply power a hundredfold. But he says breaking his disruptive technology into the world has not been easy. He's failed to patent his work. That's why we end up finding nuclear scientists, electromagnetic professors, so that they can assist us on the patent process. But as you are aware that in, in patents, anything that violates the laws of physics is not an industrial applicable solution. They classify it as a perpetual motion device. Luis Kupenala, a South African-based Angolan businessman, has poured millions into the project, but now believes it's time to commercialize. He says the Angolan government and a Brazil private energy player have signed up to buy some of their products, but that other investors don't generally believe anything credible can come out of Africa. We just sell from our skin color. We don't believe on ourselves. But obviously a, a new generation has another responsibility to change this kind of paradigm to another level whereby we have to capitalize on our abilities in Africa. Zimbabwean scientists who spoke to the SABC also expressed skepticism. But Chikumbutso brushes the naysayers aside. He says he's determined to ensure that his God-given gift brings energy to light up the continent and put Zimbabwe on the technological map. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe. Galaxies and the cosmos itself, like the magnet on your refrigerator, are open systems. The successful devices we are seeing are specifically designed as open, not isolated systems. So the limitations of the first law don't apply when it comes to accessing energy from one realm to another. I learned about a young man in Africa who claimed to have built a car, a generator, and even a helicopter that ran on radio frequencies, a true free energy device that keeps batteries consistently charged. It took me several months to find him, but when I did, it blew my mind. This time we took engineer Nils Rognerud to assist with the vetting. When Nils and I arrived and met Maxwell, I was very impressed with just what a gentle, true-seeming soul he was. And then the next morning, we went to see the device, and he gave us a full tour. I was practically ecstatic. It was such a beautiful, elegant device. What we're looking at is called the green power off-grid machine. It is half a megawatt, and we are relying with the radio frequency. We highness a radio frequency converted into pure energy that is useful. It is called a microsonic energy device. A microsonic energy device, it is the generator in this machine. For people who are not familiar with this, half a megawatt, how much will that power in terms of a house or a community or what? We're talking of about 300 uh, standard household homes, yeah, okay. that you can power with one machine. So there's no 
oil burning, there's no fires going on or anything, so, wh wh where, so where's the energy coming from? We're harnessing it straight away from the, the, na the natural energy that God has just put in the, in, in, in our, on our earth, yeah, the radio frequency. So nothing unusual, but the main point is that a meter away there's no frequencies being transmitted from a, a microwave tower uh, next to the park we're standing in. It's a poignant day for us here. And amidst the excitement of seeing this for the first time, a couple of strangers showed up on the site where we were being shown these devices. And Maxwell, the inventor, took us aside as soon as he could and said, these guys are from the government, and I didn't know they were coming. Unfortunately, we're, we're truly concerned about this gentleman. And we're just going to take every precaution that we can to keep ourselves safe, to keep him safe, and to keep this knowledge safe. The microphone we had on Maxwell picked up the conversation that he had with one of the officials. So we quickly got the tape translated and found out that the government official was promising Maxwell a power purchase agreement where the government would pay him for generating energy for the country. It was good corroboration that they believed he had what he claimed. Although Maxwell didn't trust him because the government had already put him in prison in an effort to steal his technology. Big Blue started at 4.36 p.m. We're here with Maxwell, and the test is starting. Once we arrived on site, our goal for the vetting was to establish that the device could power a welding machine, which uses a lot of electricity very quickly, for long enough that it couldn't be running on batteries alone. So you were asking where the energy came from. You mentioned the other day the sun, but it's not like solar energy. I know, right? it's yeah. not. We're not using solar energy because this one is not even affected with clouds, light, and things right. like that. It just work. So the, the energy, the, the radio frequencies that you're harnessing, yeah. th are they there in space, in the field, all the time? Yes, they are. From the first day we started to test the machine, we have been analyzing and we saw that the radio frequency is there. But one thing that we want to know for sure is, is it alien or is it, it man-made from another planet or <laughs> is it from God? That's where we need, I think, scientifically, scientific people to define exactly. But we know the radio frequency, we have everything. Yeah. If it's still a fully charged battery, the test is successful. It's not screws. Oh, that's 217. Point nine. That's, that's perfect. We get it. So that's the, that's the 18 battery. Yeah, that's the 18 batteries. Oh, yeah. So that's higher than the nominal voltage. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> wow! Thank you so much. That is awesome. That's the 18 uh, volt battery. So that's higher voltage. <laughs> Thank you. Give us two thumbs up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> One final check of the battery voltage revealed a shocking result. Not only had the machine outlasted the expected battery life, but the batteries were still fully charged. This proved that the device was being powered from an unknown energy source. <laughs> thank you. This is one of the happiest days of my life. Thank you. And I am so proud of this man who has gone through so much. He's listened to the voice of the divine coming through him, and he's done whatever it takes to bring this through for humanity. So congratulations, my friend. Thank you so much. Ah. <laughs> now we're going to get you well. The test we did yesterday is historic. Uh, I still am digesting it because it basically means the end of fossil fuels. One of the, of, of the painful realities I have seen in, the, in energy is this is a very dangerous game altogether, yeah, especially free energy, because, uh, you know, as I said, if they can try to, 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 kill, to kill it, using professional people, and that has happened to me. I went through a lot, poisons, like I'm saying right now, I'm fighting it. 
they come to you then they said no you mustn't do this uh, when they see that you know you are, you are not giving up then they can just affirm you then they can say no you have done abc my prayer is this thing must be the light of the day Oh, thank you very much. The electric vehicle invention, uh, it is an invention that we, we took from the greener power of grid machine. Mm. The greener power of grid machine is the machine that we, that bet the microsonic energy device invention. Uh, later on, we felt that since now we have got a perpetual uh, generator, why can't we borrow the technology and integrate it into vehicle then see how the vehicle operates uh, that was the birth of the electric vehicle that uh, became the first electric vehicle in the world mm. that doesn't need any external recharging uh, meaning to say it is like a moving generator uh, you can take it to your rural area then you can even draw energy from the vehicle to power your house unlike what is happening in the electric vehicles which are there where you have to connect it to your house to recharge the battery or batteries overnight but the electric vehicle is a different uh, technology altogether we are using radio frequencies mm. so the electric vehicle and the greener power of grid machine they share the same uh, the, the same common invention which is called microsonic energy device a device that harness radio frequencies and change it direct into direct energy mm. but that is useful I, I, what does perpetual energy mean and involve Okay, uh, I think in 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 in, in, uh, in a simple language, uh, perpetual motion it means something that keeps on on running. Mm. There are a number of perpetual motion dev energy devices. Okay, let me try to break it down. Mm. According to the um, what the intellectual property property office, a perpetual motion device it is a device that uh, use any 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 type of energy for a certain period of time. Mm. Uh, that's how they classify them. When we look at the greener power of grid machine, they tried to classify it under the perpetual motion energy device, but we later saw that it doesn't fall under because a lot of uh, perpetual motion energy devices that are there, they've got a certain time they will work, mm. and usually they use uh, much energy to generate less energy. Mm. That's why they were known as um, unconventional energy solutions mm. that cannot be used even to power big things. The greener power of grid machine does it in a different way. Mm. This is the first technology of its kind that uses less energy to generate huge energy. Mm. Therefore, uh, we are deemed as violating the second law of energy and thermodynamics. Mm. Uh, as, uh, lo lo uh, we were taught at, at school that um, energy is directly proportional. If you need two, you have to put two. Mm. The greener power of grid machine uh, doesn't work in such a way. That's why we have said we have discovered new formulas being uh, uh, both in maths and in physics on how best, uh, to, how best we can explain energy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And, 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 and maybe now that we're talking about that machine, mm -hmm. I, I want you to delve into it, uh, the, what we saw you launch on, on Friday. What is that machine and what can it do? Okay, that machine, uh, we gave it a name, Greener Power Off Grid Machine. Mm. The name Greener, it came because the, the technology is green energy. Mm. No emissions, no consumables, and nothing is dangerous on the machine because what we are simply doing is we are harnessing a radio frequency, natural radio frequency, convert it into energy. Therefore, we are not even uh, producing anything that is toxic or dangerous to humans. Mm. Uh, a greener power of grid machine, it is um, 
a breakthrough to science to say when uh, it was launched on Saturday uh, the Thrive team in the United States of America we met them sometime last year but one mm. and they sent their scientists from the United States of America to come and validate to do some feasible some tests to mm. see if the machine is it is it is working it is doing what we we said it was doing mm. After that, they gave us a scientific report which stated that the technology was um, novel mm -hmm. and it was genuine. Uh, later on, they decided to do a documentary. They decided that I must feature in their documentary, mm -hmm. Thrive 2, yeah, what it takes. Um, then it was launched last, last Saturday. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time in the world to have such kind of a technology that work in such a way. Our machine, the one that we demonstrated, it is a 50 kilowatts, 50 kW to say. That means it is capable of generating 50,000 um, 50, watts. That energy can power about 10 houses, high density houses mm. in Zimbabwe, according to ZESA. Mm. If we allocate 5 kilowatts per each house, and we are looking at around 320 amps per hour, which is um, huge ele electricity to say. Mm. The before that machine we did a 500 kilowatt, which is half a megawatt. When we say you have done a half a megawatt from a radio frequency, it doesn't make sense. Mm. But when we demonstrated the machine, people they saw that surely the machine is working because a half a megawatt uh, can power around plus or minus 200 houses. Mm. So you can see what it does from a radio frequency. Mm. That's why I said we have made new discoveries that now uh, have to go hand in hand with the natural laws of physics, also the law of energy and thermodynamics. Mm. Yeah. And, and <coughs> looking at uh, radio frequencies, when people, the ordinary person wants to know mm. what's this radio fre frequency mm. that you are harnessing, where does it come from, and is it not finite? Uh, will, I, will we not have the, this machine and one day not have radio frequencies mm -hmm. to harness? Mm -hmm. You know, when God created uh, the earth, he put some electromagnetic frequencies as they are better known. Uh, I think if you had a number of guys from NASA, when uh, they are going to the moon, they have got a challenge of passing through some microwave frequency uh, energy. Mm. So we are taking what God has created. Uh, unfortunately, we have classified the the frequency, the particular frequency that we are using for some security reasons is you know that we failed to file a patent because they said we are violating the laws of physics so it's not industrial applicable. Mm. Uh, because of that we went the trade secret route where we took some pieces of the machine and uh, classify them as trade secrets mm. just like what coca-cola did mm. and and you know this is this is interesting mm. people will look at you as a disruptor you are disruptive mm. in this world and and of course that's what you're talking about when when you uh, speak of issues like uh, violating uh, mm. existing laws mm. and and just a bit about you mm. who are you and what did you study because people mm. think this is sophisticated material you're talking about. Who is this guy? Who is the man? What did he study? Where did he study? Uh, thank you for that question. Uh, I was born in a very poor family. I never, I did not manage to complete my, my education. I left school when I was from two second term due to some financial difficulties. Mm. I was raised by a single parent, my mom. Mm. Uh, later after, I discovered that there was something in me. I started to see visions and, and up to until now I see visions, very clear visions, not even when I'm not asleep. Mm. Those are some of the things that I see. And uh, God started to teach me, I believe God started to teach me, I could hear voices, I started to experiment with some electronic components. No one ever taught me what we the names and the, the uses of electronic components, it was God. My first breakthrough was in 1999 when I did the first radio broadcasting transmitter in Kwazana. Mm, it made the headlines on both the national television, news, and also some radio stations. After that, God kept on giving me uh, ideas. Then I did a uh, digital navigation facilitator, which was the first challenging technology. It's a machine which is used to facilitate uh, landing of aircrafts. Mm. 
it calculates um, uh, where the runway is, uh, how fast is the plane coming to land, which side does it uh, must it have to to maneuver to. So it was a challenge in technology. Mm. I had to learn uh, things like the Doppler effects. How do you use a radio frequency uh, in measuring distance? Those are some of the things that I use in GPSs. Mm. Later on, I did um, my first turbine engine, which was, uh, I took it to the Air Force of Zimbabwe and uh, the Civil Aviation Technical Training Center. Years later, God gave me the, the vision of the greener power of grid machine. Mm. Uh, nine, 2009, I completed the first working prototype, which was a 1,200 watts. Mm. Later on, I founded a company with uh, Seiko Wazara, who was uh, the group CEO for Econet. Then uh, we did some, we started to, to design big machines. 2013. You, you there, there, there's a helicopter there, some with yes. the drones there, some tell us about, about yes, those. Yes, yes, yes. Years later, uh, I think in 2013, that's where I started, I, 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 I founded my company, Safe Technologies. Mm -hmm. uh, along the way, we did a drone, the first uh, autonomous drone. Mm -hmm. We are the first people to have done a drone in Zimbabwe and program it. We did a helicopter, the first successful helicopter that flies again in Zimbabwe, using materials such as carbon fiber alloy materials, both in aluminium and stainless steels, titanium, mm. uh, the electric vehicle, 2015. Yeah, so those are some of the things that we have done, some of the projects that we, we might uh, want to call successful projects. Mm. Yeah. Before there was electricity, there was fire. But it proved to be a little unconventional. So we built nuclear power plants and pushed green initiatives. But they're proving to be unsustainable. What if there was a way to get clean, reliable energy with all of the benefits and none of the consequences? Introducing Sayet's new greener power machine. Turn it on and it'll take care of the rest. With no emissions and no fuel, some say it defies the laws of physics. But we say it is the next generation of energy. Pure, reliable, clean, with the power to light up entire communities. And this is how it sounds. Say it. Go change the world.